So, Lindsay, yeah. we've, t we've talked about this before. I'm, all, I'm just amazed at how you've managed your career so well. So when you left ESPN, I, I really, I am. I'm amazed. Thank I mean, you. You did, so, you did so well here, and then you did so well at ESPN, and then you said, I don't know, I assume it's because of kids and everything and schedule, and then you've managed to carve out this career where you're all over the place. I can't even keep track of you. What are all your jobs that you're juggling right now with your podcast? You still do the NASCAR stuff, right? You're doing the NFL stuff. What, what are all the different gigs that you're doing? Yeah, thank you. So, no, it is it is crazy. And I, you know, I don't know. There are times that it feels like, okay, like, what are you doing? Um, but I think I just really need to, to follow, at the moment at least, like the things that I really believe in, which is the various things, like projects that you just mentioned. Yeah, so the sideline reporting was something that was last season. I loved it. Hopefully that is something that I'm doing next season. I am excited. I'm going to be doing a, there's a, a project that I'm doing for CBS in the summer, which is racing, it's, um, which I'm really excited about, but I don't know that I can actually share much about that. So I'll, anyway, but at some point I will. And, um, and I'm going to be, this is the first time in my career that I really have been able to do things for different entities. And I just realized that yesterday because I'm having, I'm, I'm going to be doing some Olympic things. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. So that's funny because I'm, I can kind of hop. Here's the reality. Like the reality is it was super scary when I left ESPN and I, yeah, it was about, it was in a big way about wanting to be there and be around my kids. I haven't really talked about this much, but the, I mean, the truth is like, I was given an opportunity to stay and the people there are really great. And I was thinking about this the other day because I am at a point where I don't know what the heck I'm going to be doing. Like, and it's kind of scary, but it's also really exciting because it's much more like things that I'm really, really satisfied and into. But I mean, I had a manager there who I really, who I was thinking about this. I was like, he was probably the person that was the most similar to George, the way that George operated, which I mean, in the good sense, you know, mm -hmm. he drove down to where I live, which was an hour away to say, we really want you to say, here's what we want you to do. And it was a point for me where I, the way I found out about the change that was happening about the show I was a part of was really not, it wasn't something that I felt like I could just go back. You know what I mean? Like, so that was not getting into the politics of it. There was a lot that went into that for me. And it was like a decision that I made about, okay, I need to either, I'm either going to stay here at this place where I know what the platform is. I know what this looks like. I do enjoy everybody I work with, but I've done this. And if I'm making a change because there's a change that was coming and I didn't know about it, that was a lot of what in, went into it for me, you know? And I was like, I need to take a bet on the stuff that I would like to do and the timing feels right at this moment. And also, additionally, as you mentioned, I was about to have my second child. And so I was like, part of what the role would have been with Sports Center was more on the weekends. And it's not that I've never been afraid to work weekends, but at that point, I was like, if this is a decision that happened and I wasn't really told about it, that's why. Right. So hmm. I know that's like a really long, weird explanation, but there was a lot that went into it for me about, okay, you need to decide if this is worth it at this moment. And I didn't feel at that moment like I was communicated to effectively. And it wasn't the people necessarily at ESPN. It was a perfect storm. I would, you know, I love it there. I would, if it were the right situation, of course, I would love to be back there at some point, you know, but that is the truth of the story.